In today's video, we're taking a look at a frame from Gap RC. Now, this is called the Mark IV HD, and it's slightly different than the normal frame due to a couple things. One, it's slightly longer, and you'll be able to put your DJI Air unit inside. However, you don't only have to use it for the HD setups. You can also use it for analog, but it will be slightly longer. So take that into consideration. Now, what's really nice also, if you do tend to go that route, is they also give you a 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 mounting solution in the back. Here we have a 20 by 20 M2 and a 30 by 30 M3 stacking solution. Now, if we take a look at one of my favorite, favorite quads, because this is my basher quad here, it is rocking the Mark IV frame as well, but this is the analog version. Now, I really love this and I've been using it for quite some time now and by far one of my favorite basher quad. Not only that, you can find a lot of 3D printed parts to extend the overall lifespan of the frame and you could find a GoPro Hero 6 session mount. I usually just cut the tops when I find that and just use that for my GoPro Hero 8. Now, this is a freestyle frame and it is a beast of a freestyle frame. Now, if you take a closer look here, the arms are held by basically, each arm is held by two screws. And the first screw is going to go into the standoff. The other one's going to go into a self-locking nut, which digs into the carbon fiber and just holds that into place. Now, I've had this for quite a while and been using it, and I have not needed to re-tighten them anytime soon. Just try to use some thread locker, even though I didn't use any on that one. And usually I tend to forget here. Now, another thing what I really love about Geb RC is the hardware they provide you is really great. And also everything is really thought through. As you can tell, everything is flat here. They have countersunk holes just to have that screw fit in flush. So this way that your battery you won't be bumping into anything and not only that they also provide you with anti-slip stickers that go right on top so you could place them yourself if you wanted to or not they're very useful and you will need them now with the hd setup or the mark 4 hd which is this one right here it does come with all the 3d printed parts you need one to hold the dji air unit two to hold the antenna and also if you're going to be using crossfire here however they didn't have a setup for normal 2.4 gigahertz antennas such as your xm pluses or xsrs or whatever you might be using so you're gonna to have to come up with something for that usually i tend to just put them on the arm just like this with a zip tie and i'm good to go and as you can tell here with the rush fpv uh antennas if you're going to be going analog they come with these adapters that fit perfect into the holes they've provided on the end of the frame here now let's talk about size so arms are 5.5 millimeters bottom plate is three millimeters upper plate is three millimeters camera side plates are 2.1 millimeters and this is a five inch quadcopter and i'm sure i think it does come in different sizes for the normal analog i'll have everything linked down below go ahead and check those out you'll know a bit more so this frame will be built on the channel with the dji air unit i really want to get this done because i'll have two of these however this is my basher budget quad and i might do the same thing on this as well where i put some cheap racer star motor so i won't be afraid to break it and possibly even buy a gopro hero 6 because i am afraid to break my gopro hero 8 and then i just won't be afraid to break this one just like this one here and this is why i love this so i'm gonna go for a budget proper setup and you know you can get amazing footage even with cheap motors just like this if you've seen in the beginning of the video this is what i've been using for most of my real steady go tutorials and it's been holding out just fine. I actually broke one motor, bent one motor. However, these motors are so cheap. One motor is like $8. And what's really nice about the 2207-2500 KV, you could even run 5S on them. So sometimes I even run 5S and they perform really, really great. The KV is slightly lower than they're saying. But with these Racer Star 2207s, the Racer Star motors are usually much weaker than more expensive motors. But you need to take something into consideration. I've also been flying this and a motor with the T-Motor F60s, Popo Edition. And I had the, on the same day, I, I broke basically both motors or just basically bent the bell. But at least on this one, I was actually able to bend down the stator slightly and just have it function again. But I didn't even put it back on here. Um, but either way, if you're going to break a motor crashing into metal, you might as well break a cheaper one. But it comes back to you. This is my own opinion, and this is how I feel much safer to fly, and I could just be more aggressive, and it's just a lot funner that way. So overall, the analog version of this flies absolutely phenomenal, even stock beta flight pids. And I'm also hoping this will fly just as good on stock beta flight pids. Uh, but the only difference here is we're gonna, we it's slightly longer. We're gonna have a bit more weight in the back here than usual, because if we take a look at the analog one, all we have is a video transmitter back here and a small antenna. But here we're going to have the DJI Air unit in the back. But overall, I think it should be pretty balanced, especially with a GoPro up here. But I won't be able to know until we build it and actually fly it. So I'll be building it in the upcoming days. 
and uh, we'll see how well this actually goes. I really love this frame and I'd highly recommend this frame to anybody. And this one, we'll just wait and see, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna nail it just like this one. And again, we'll see that in the upcoming videos and everything's linked down below, guys. If you do have this, let us know down in the comment section because that'll be very useful for a lot of people out there. And again, everything is linked down below from these motors. Even the build video for this is linked down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.